Hey y'all, welcome back to the DD Outdoors channel. In today's video, I have another book review for you guys. This book came out in 1991. The second printing was 2002. It's called Hunting and Shooting with the Modern Bow. Okay, this is by Roger uh, Maynard. And yes, this book may be outdated, um, but still, it's got a lot of vintage bows in it, and it's still really, really cool. And some of the information is still the same, you know. So there's still a lot of uh, good information in this book that you may need to know, especially if you own a vintage bow or if you're just an enthusiast like me. Bought this at Half Price Books last year, and right now it's going on eBay for like five bucks. So it ain't really worth anything, but still, it really cool book so getting into it okay the first thing it's going to do is it's going to talk about like the history of archery okay give you some background in archery it's even got pictures of some um, thumb releases that they had back in the day all right you're starting archery it's got a little kid shooting right there all right um but then it's going to go through like hoyt and PSE and then like you get to chapter six and it's the Oneida Eagle okay guys there's still a lot of people that shoot Oneida Eagle bows and they can get like five six seven hundred bucks maybe even eight hundred dollars now like to buy them online they're expensive Oneida Eagle bows were still pretty cool and they still are because it's like a recurve compound bow mix Okay. Talks about longbow and the recurve bow. Alright. Um, even shows some guy named Jimmy that's making a recurve bow by hand. Pretty cool. Um, then you get into like setup and tuning. It's got some flipper style arrow rest there, which is really, really neat if you, you know all about that. How to put on a D-loop. See, this is where this book is still up to date. You know, how to tie on a D-loop. Um, back when this book was made, you know, they had metal D-loops. I bought a bow that had a metal D-loop, and they quit using them went back to string D-loops because the metal ones, you have to put screws in there, and they kind of pinch your string, and they could damage your string, actually. Um, then it talks about, you know, like setting your knock height and all kinds of stuff, stuff that's still um, good till this day. Releases talks about old style releases. Um, still a really cool vintage book. You know uh, where to put your, you know things like that. Where to anchor anchor points. How to check your arrow length. Uh, just all kinds of stuff. Um, then it gets into releases, attaching aids to your actual aids for your bow string. How to tie in a peep sight. This is still usable today. Just cool little things. Um, my newest bow still uses a peep tube, peep sight tube on it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Securing a peep sight in your bow string. Talks about bow sights. You know, they had metal bow sights back then. They had fiber optic bow sights back then. Um, which is still pretty cool right there. Different bow, bow sights. Kisser buttons. You know how to put on a kisser button and why you need a kisser button. Things like that. Uh, pendulum sight. Which is still pretty neat. Different targets that they have. Um, learning how to use a single sight pin. I actually have a single sight pin on my bow, so that's pretty cool. Learn, learn how to do all that. Arrow history, arrow points for small games, so hunting squirrels and rabbits, it'll go through that for you. I like different types of small game heads and different things like that. Um, bow fishing, goes all the way through bow fishing in here, that's a huge fish. Um, yeah, bow fishing setups, still pretty cool if you guys are into that kind of bow fishing stuff. Um, arrows. Goes through setup on arrows and aluminum and carbon arrows. Broadheads goes through broadheads. You know, talks about 
Fix versus mechanical broadheads. Talks about spine. When you want to select arrow spine and how to do all that. Um, it's got a spine gauge thing in here. I'm trying to flip through really fast because um, that's a big book. It even talks about you know how to build your own arrows for recurve shooters or even whatever. How to use a fletching jig and glue and all kinds of stuff and put your own fletchings on there. Here's a picture of a fletching jig. Feathers versus veins. Back in the day, a lot of guys used fletching. Uh, tying on your own servings with a serving jig. Cleaning your arrow shafts. Um, selecting your knocks. Things you might need to know about arrow knocks. Again, there's a lot of good information on here. Um, history of bowstrings. How to make your own bowstrings. What material you use for bowstrings. All kinds of stuff like that. Okay, like making your own bowstrings for recurve, whatever. A Flemish bowstring versus the continuous loop. Bow hunting accessories. There's some guy that shot a rattlesnake with bow and arrow. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I could do that. Um, like bow cases and just accessories for protecting your bow. And all kinds of stuff. Um, finger tabs, arm guards, arrow quivers. There's another guy in a ghillie suit, which I think is a cool picture there. Uh, compasses, how to use a GPS. And GPSs have come a long way, but I have an old school 2003 Magellan um, GPS I bought on eBay. Still pretty cool. Um, you know, how to... Things like that. Why bow hunters are injured now. The tree stand section of this is going to be outdated. Because it shows some wooden platform tree stands. Or teaches you how to uh, build a tree stand. But it does talk about safety harnesses. Things like that. Um, yeah, like building a tree stand. I don't recommend building a tree stand. A lot of people have been hurt that way. But it's got like old climbers and stuff in here. Just vintage stuff that's still really cool. Dressing your game. See, this is where it gets really cool. Is like shows you how to gut a deer and debone and all kinds of stuff with pictures and things like that. And they're still pretty neat here. Like cutting for the taxidermist. Um, just sharpening knives. It even has a section on sharpening knives, which is still useful today, everybody. I mean, I, I, I. These old books are still cool. And that's why I'm going through each one that I have. You know, game management. You know, things like that. Just got all kinds of stuff. Um, it's got recipes in the back on how to cook wild turkey breast, how to cook deer, how to cook rabbit, how to cook squirrel. Whatever, guys. Again, Hunting and Shooting with the Modern Bow by Ryan Maynard. You guys can find these on eBay again for $4.50 free shipping. Still a really cool book. Um, I just talked to a new subscriber of mine last night. They got a Hoyt bow, I believe, a used one. Vintage from a shop, a pawn shop. And uh, this would be a good book for you, bud, to learn more about the modern bow and archery and stuff. And it, it you know, it, the, some of the stuff in here may be a little outdated, but it's still got good information that you can use, like... How to make a bowstring, how to sight in a bow, how to field dress your game, what kind of broadheads. I mean, the technology may be outdated, but it's still basic technology that has improved up to what we have today. You know? So, y'all, check out this book if you want to. Hunting and Shooting with the Modern Bow by Roger Maynard. Cool book. Vintage. Awesome. Still learned a lot of stuff from there. So y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.